Something else we use a lot in economics is the concept of revenue maximization. And we always say that revenue maxing occurs where marginal revenue is zero. But again, we don't really explain why that is the case very well. So this video will explain why. And again, the best way to look at revenue max is to pick points to the left or to the right of MR equals zero and understand why they can't be revenue maximization. So let's go to the right. Okay, so let's pick any points to the right. Uh, why can't those points be revenue maxing? Well, any points to the right, our MR will go negative. Okay, so the revenue generated will become negative. Okay, so the extra revenue generated by making an extra unit is now negative. Well, obviously that's going to reduce revenue. All right, so it can't be any points to the right where the marginal revenue is negative. Can't work because our revenue will be falling. Total revenue will be falling. That can't work. We can't be maximum revenue there. What about any points to the left? Okay, where marginal revenue is positive. Why can't any of those points to the left be revenue maximization? Well, it comes back to similar points we made before with profit maximization. Any points to the left, yes, our marginal revenue might be very high, but we can increase our total revenue, which is what we're trying to maximize, by producing more and more units up until marginal revenue zero. So let's pick my finger there, that point on the marginal revenue curve. Okay, that's great, we're bringing in a lot of marginal revenue there. But, if we increased our production to this point, we're still bringing in more revenue by producing this extra output. We're still bringing in more revenue. Yes, that revenue we're bringing in is becoming less and less each time, but it's still adding to our total pot. Our total revenue is still increasing. And that's going to be true all the time up until marginal revenue zero. As long as marginal revenue is positive, we can keep increasing output because the total revenue generated will still rise. It will rise at a smaller rate each time because the marginal revenue is becoming less and less, but it's still adding to total. And that's true up until marginal revenue zero. Thereafter, we're reducing revenue. Okay, so we can maximize total revenue where MR is zero for that reason. And we can see that on the diagram. Okay, total revenue, yes, it's increasing. So while marginal revenue is positive, our total revenue is increasing, yes. But where it's maximized is where MR is zero. Thereafter, as we said, marginal revenue is negative, our total revenue is up to 4. So the maximization of total revenue occurs when marginal revenue is 0. Okay. I also mentioned on my Objectives of Firms video that actually, um, by revenue maximizing, it would lead to lower prices. Well, how does that work? Well, compare. We know that profit maximization occurs where MC equals MR, which is this point, and uh, by going up to the demand curve, our AR curve, we can also work out the price. The average revenue is also the price. Okay, so that's the price of, max, of uh, profit maximization. Do the same as sales revenue maximization, and we'll go to the AR curve there, and we find the price is here. So we'll call that P rep. You can see there's a big difference in price, isn't there, between maximizing profits or maximizing revenue. Okay, so that's why firms like to do revenue maximization because by having a lower price they can drive out competition. But, okay, but you can see, why isn't this maximizing profit? Well, we know MC equals MR is maximizing profit. Right, we can actually compare. So, the levels of profit being made is the difference between AR and AC. Okay, the difference between AR and AC, that's the level of profit being made. So, by producing where profit maximizing occurs, that entire rectangle is your super normal profit. Whereas producing where uh, MR is zero by revenue maxing, your profit is only now the little blue triangle, which you can see is a lot less than the green one. We can mathematically prove that, but we know MC equals MR is profit max. So your profits take a hit by revenue maxing. Just, just because you're maximizing revenue, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're maximizing profits. We need to look at costs as well. So here, look, our profit maximizing point, we're not maximizing revenue, we're already up there on the revenue curve, but we don't have the cost information on this curve as well. Okay, we do have it on this curve, and we know MC equals MR is profit maxing, which occurs there. So even though it's not revenue maxing, we're still maximizing profits. But the key thing to take away is that MR equals zero is revenue maxing for the points I made earlier. Hope that makes sense now. Thank you very much.